Hello friends welcome back to my channel. It turns out that a year and a half before the release of the last DCEU film, Jason Momoa revealed the ending of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. With a global box office total of $1.1 billion, Aquaman of 2018 is the highest grossing DCEU film to date. The plot of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom built around Arthur Curry's underwater universe. Because of his affiliation with the menacing Black Trident, Yahya Abdul-Mateen's Black Manta was portrayed in the film as a greater menace. One of the most significant characters in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is King Kordax, played by Palo Azbek. The strong brother of the legendary King Atlan, Kordax, imprisoned him after he ruined the Forgotten Kingdom in Necris, the name of the film, turning its people into mindless creatures and used them to wage war against Atlan. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom's conclusion went on to a big surprise when Aquaman stopped Kordax from reviving but it turns out that Momoa actually revealed the sequence a year and a half before. In August 2022, Momoa revealed a few Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom story details related to climate change. Speaking to British GQ, Momoa said that Aquaman is the most made fun of superhero in the world. But it's amazing to be able to bring awareness of what is happening to our planet. It's not some story that's been told over and over, it's a movie about what's happening right now but in a fantasy world. While that spoke to the general story of the Aquaman sequel, Momoa teased Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom's ending a year and a half before the movie. The magazine article confirmed that a scene in which Aquaman's alter ego Arthur Curry gives a grand speech to the UN warning them of the disaster looming on the horizon was included in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. In the concluding scene of the DCEU's last film, Arthur Curry addresses the United Nations, unveiling Atlantis to humanity and concluding his impassioned speech on ocean conservation with the Iron Man reference, I am Aquaman. It's possible that the UN sequence was not yet scheduled to conclude the movie when the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom finale was disclosed in the interview. Director James Wan discussed how the movie had alterations as a result of the new DC Universe, including the removal of sequences starring Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton as Batman. Dolph Lundgren recently discussed the original version of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom and again made reference to the film's reshoots. Perhaps one of the results of the film's modifications was the early unveiling of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom's conclusion. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.